Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here, and today is ship shit back day. I decided that I wasn't going to try to take the time to privately sell the R3. I knew that was coming. Today was the absolute last, probably last minute for me to accept the offer from MPB. Whilst they didn't give me as much as I wanted, I mean, do you ever get as much as you want? It was more than KEH offered me because I went through and did a KEH quote and it was enough less that I was like, all right, screw it. I'll just take what uh, MPB is offering me. And I went through and packed everything up. It's all packed and ready to go. I'm gonna take a little trip here to FedEx and get that taken care of. As far as my MacBook Air, yeah, that, that offer was pathetically low that I got from Apple. So I, I didn't even include that in my deal when I bought the MacBook Pro. I'd rather just keep it than, than take a lowball offer like that. I mean, if it were a private sale and somebody offered me that little for it, I probably would have sent them a picture of me giving them the finger. So here's to you, Apple, for that ridiculous offer. So, you know, I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. It'll be my just in case backup laptop. I know I can edit with it if I have to, or, you know, I mean, I didn't have that big of a problem with it, but enough about that. All right, it it's a weird day. It's sunny then it's not it's sunny then it's not and i think it's supposed to storm again this afternoon so what i'm gonna do i've been doing day job work all morning i had calls and and uh, taking care of other shit. but i think i'm gonna come home fire up the grill and cook my bacon because i haven't been able to cook my bacon because i can't do it inside because i always end up smoking out the house and since our microwave you know uh, vent exhaust shit broke I, I haven't wanted to cook anything like that inside and i've been doing it out in the grill but because it's been so rainy and shitty and or a thousand degrees and i didn't want to add to the heat i just haven't done it so we're gonna go cook bacon later everything in this house is starting to get back to normal i did all my laundry yesterday and put everything away ah clean clothes my little setup here is is good to go. I have the living room area put back together. And we finally got to have tea last night like we do every night, but we haven't had it for several days because it's been hot as balls. And the last thing we wanted to do was have a hot drink. So yay for herbal tea last night. So let's just go start knocking things off the list. <laughs> okay, wanna hear what Dumb Monkey did? I just filmed for 20 freaking minutes without having my freaking microphone on. So the entire 20 minutes is me frenetically jumping around like a freaking Muppet and talking about all kinds of shit and none of it being recorded with audio. I'm not doing that again for another 20 minutes and you probably don't wanna hear me blather on for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna tell you two things. Number one, I got in the mail yesterday a background. I bought 24 by 24 or two, two foot by two, you know, two foot square, Jesus, squares that are in a marble pattern and it's three-sided. So it'll, it'll have two sides on the thing and then one on the bottom so that I can take pictures of shit that has a decent background on it because I don't have anything in here and I had to keep moving shit off these desks and tables and stuff and it's a pain in the ass. So I got that, I put it together earlier. I took a picture of what I'm gonna show you next, which is what I got today. Now, I didn't get this today, but this is a Giotto rocket blaster a big, uh, I guess it's a large size. And it's for blowing shit off your lenses, out of your sensor, things like that. An absolute must have if you are a photographer, a videographer, and you have a camera and or lenses. Because something like this is going to blow shit off your lens. Some cheapo ass thing that you get for free when you buy something off of Amazon is not going to work that well. And it's a pain in the ass. They do have different sizes. So I got two little babies for, for the single parent here. And this is a large, these are smalls. The thing about these though is that it still gives you a good blast of air. I ordered two of them because I have cheapos, one in my bag and one in the Forerunner, and they suck. So I don't know why I waited so long. It's probably because, oh, shiny red ball. You know, I'd say, oh, I got to get more of those and then I'd forget about it. So yesterday I finally freaking ordered them and they came in today. So this will stay in my bag. And if I don't bring my bag with me, there'll be one in the Forerunner. And this one will stay at home because it's too damn big to be sticking in my bag or putting in the Forerunner. So now I've got something, you know, I'm always whining about all oh, I get dust all over my shit. All right, that's it. Those are the two things I got this week. I'm not getting anything else that is has to do with anything. So good to go there. 
The other thing I had talked about, and the reason why I'm so hopped up here is because I made this little concoction. What I did was I bought some Starbucks cold brew, concentrated cold brew the other day at Target for the hell of it, because I got some at Trader Joe's and it kind of tasted like shit, but I figured I'd try the Starbucks one. So that you just like put, ha you know, one part this, one part water. So I made that, but then I wanted to do something different because it kind of tastes like shit when you drink it straight like that. But again, I'm not using sugar and I'm not using any dairy and other than three ships, most almond milk tastes like liquid cardboard to me. So I tried the one from Trader Joe's and I was like, <laughs> I feel like I'm sucking on a cardboard box. So I didn't like it. And I'm not going to get it again and waste the money or the refrigerator space. So I thought, all right, what can I do to sort of flavor this up? So what I did was I put like, I don't know, half of this, this concoction into the, the glass. And then I took a Starbucks strawberry sparkling water and I filled it up the rest away with that. So now this is basically a strawberry fizzy cold brew. And it's not that bad. I kind of did a similar thing, but I was using the LaCroix, uh, like blackberry water. And that doesn't have a lot of flavor to begin with. As my wife said, it, it's flavored like at one time there was a blackberry in the same room as the, as the water. And that's about as much flavor as you get out of it. But the strawberry fizzy sparkling water, whatever the hell from Trader Joe's has a hell of a lot more flavor in it. And that mixed with the cold brew. Again, like I said, it's not the greatest drink ever, but it's something different. And I'm really sick of drinking plain water, which is why I keep buying all these freaking fizzy waters. So all in all, it's pretty good. And clearly it's got me all jacked up. Now I have done a ton of shit today to procrastinate from doing my day job stuff. Although I did start the day off. I had meetings this morning. I sent a bunch of shit out. I turned a couple of deals in and then my buddy JT, he didn't, shamed me into doing stuff, but he motivated me to do some stuff. And, and I, I thought it was a good idea. So I did all that stuff while I was still on the phone with him, got that all done. I'm starting to get responses back, which I need to get because they need to hurry the hell up and respond to me so I can get this shit done. Again, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to thunder because it's supposed to storm. Now I checked the radar. Yes, that weather app. I checked the radar and it said that it wasn't supposed to rain at all until like now. 4.30, 5 o'clock, we were supposed to get hit with more thunderstorms, but there was no rain in that forecast up until then. So I thought this is the perfect time for me to continue procrastinating, but to cook the damn bacon that I've been trying to cook for like a week and a half. So I went out, I fired up the grill. I put a skillet on there. I got it all heated up and everything. I got two strips of bacon on that some bitch and it started to friggin' rain. It wasn't supposed to rain. That's the whole reason I did that. And I was like, screw it. As long as it's not a torrential downpour, I'm just gonna keep cooking. I managed to get the bacon cooked, got it inside, dumped the grease and everything, and I had it sitting outside to cool. And I looked outside and it started to really rain. So I brought the freaking skillet in. I closed the grill, but I didn't put the cover on because it was still burning ass hot. It torrentially downpoured and then it stopped and the sun came out all in like 10 minutes. So I went out, I covered the grill, got that done, and then it got sunny and it somehow made it even more humid because it's in the 90s again and it was already gross humid. So I went and picked up my packages, came back, and now uh, there's no way that I'm stepping foot outside because it is so, so humid. Like the minute like my face started to walk out the door, my glasses instantly fogged over and I had enough of that from this weekend. I'm not going outside. I did what I have to do for day job. I got a couple more things that I can do, so I'm gonna do, so I get them done and then I'm done with them and I don't have to dick around with it. So I'll do that, but since it's gonna start, yeah, there you go. There's more thunder and lightning. So I'm not gonna go out and do any kind of pictures. Sorry, I know I've been really light. I haven't gone birding. It's starting to really bug me because I wanna go out and do that, but I am not going out into the woods when there's thunder and lightning because I'm not getting struck by lightning because I don't wanna get struck by lightning. I mean, unless it made me into some kind of freaking awesome X-Men, then I don't wanna deal with it. That's pretty much it. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I got a remote.